Hello guys, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning. So today I'm going to share to you a basic principle or basic thing you might want to know before you begin your deposition technique. So electro deposition is very simple thing. You can using potential stat three electrode system to deposit your potential material as a working electrode and have uh, work have a counter and also reference making up you should have a three electrode system and you can deposit your material so it's quite simple so normally for counter electrode people are using platinum wire so you can buy that one and reference electrode people are using either caramel electrode AG AGCL silver silver chloride or even silver wire if you are depositing in non aqueous solution in aqueous solution normally people use silver silver chloride so the main important thing that we going to focus on is the working electrode the substrate that we going to put our sample which might produce a thin film there should be a conductive substrate such as indium tin oxide coated glass ito fto you also can have a flexible substrate such, such as ITO PET, ITO PEN, and etc. Or even if you have a freestanding, or for example, you have a carbon nanofiber, you also can put carbon nanofiber or carbon clothes as a working electrode. So, everything can be deposited. Is it correct or not? No, it depends actually. For example, you want to deposit, uh, currently they are focusing on biometric. If you want to uh, deposit a biometric you should have the precursor of both metal ions inside your solution if not when you are doing deposition nothing will happen so means the number one is the precursor if you want to deposit for example zinc oxide your precursor should have the zinc salt for example zinc nitrate hexahydrate zinc acetate hexahydrate or whatever they should have the precursor that's number one if you have more you want to produce a composite for example you want to have graphene oxide you want to have metal oxide combined together you can either do one step deposition or else you deposit one by one two step deposition for the former one step deposition what you did is you combine both in one precursor solution you take the zinc oxide salts and also you take the graphene oxide so you combine together in one solution then make your deposition this might be tricky because we don't know whether it will combine together or not but you might try this technique because it is worth it to try it okay the other one you can compare the form performance in terms of two-step deposition for example once you deposit zinc oxide first the rest you the other one after it's dry up you can deposit graphene oxide we call that layer deposition or two-step deposition so it is not a big problem you actually can determine or can do either one the only thing to consider is which technique you're going to use is it chrono amperometry which you are fixed the potential of voltage you are fixing for example you want to deposit at 0 0.8 volt for how many seconds for example 300 seconds for five minutes uh, that's the chrono amperometry technique works you fix the potential and also time so you must know actually at which potential it will be deposited not all material can be deposited at positive potential some material might uh, deposit at negative potential for example zinc oxide it will be at negative for example graphene oxide at positive reduce graphene oxide at negative you must study the literature review what the mechanism involved is it deposition involved cation or anion so you can actually determine using cyclic voltammetry to see the potential window okay that's about the chrono amperometry the other things is about cyclic voltammetry so if you are clueless you don't know you are too lazy to read but you must read uh, experiment without knowledge is zero you should read sometime you should read 
before doing the experiment so this is uh, the other technique that classify you simplify version if you didn't know exactly at which potential you should deposit first choose the cyclic voltammetry technique so you put a very big potential for example i put when i read from journal i think the reduced graphene oxide will deposit it at negative 1.5 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the cyclic voltammetry for a potential window from 0 to negative 1.5 and I do the cycle which means that I do for example I optimize first second and third cycle so I want to see at which cycle the deposition gives the better performance so this is cyclic voltammetry so for example the material is uh, should be deposit at negative 1.5 volt but you actually didn't didn't confirm that at that exact potential the deposition will occur so you just do the cyclic potometry so here the tricky part in the cyclic potometry you must control the scan rate too fast the cv cycle might uh, reduce the efficiency of deposition so you should control and the, the scan rate should not be too fast for cyclic potometry the other one uh, also available in the potential stat but I'm not exploited yet is chrono potential metric where you fix the current. So all these three techniques will lead a good deposition. Okay, so let's recap back. So you have three techniques. You should have three electrode system. You should have counter reference and working and also you should have the precursor. And a good scientist you should read some a lot of papers because uh, in your specific film people might not produce that composite or that material but that material might be used in another application so you read a lot of paper don't limit in your application for example you are studying solar cell you can go to supercapacitor you can go to uh, electrocatalysis and whatever so whatever people have successfully deposit there you should or you can actually imitate mimic their process and take the procedure into your process and produce and testing for your application i think it's, it, it's not being short anymore it's quite long video so hopefully you success in your deposition i think that's all thank you this is for sharing moment anything you can drop a comment for collaboration you want to collaborate in terms of papers or review paper or whatever you can also drop me a comment okay bye see you